What's up guys? Hello and welcome to another video. Hey, back by popular demand, you guys asked for it, so I'm giving it to you. We got some more home automation videos. Today we're gonna be checking out how to stream audio through devices all across your house and individually pick different stations in each different portion of your house on each different device. If that sounds like something you'd be interested in, please stay tuned because it's coming up right here, right now on M.I. Sperry. Okay guys, so as the intro said, we're gonna be looking at streaming audio or more the key word is multi-room audio. Basically, where you basically set a device in each room of your house or wherever you may be. You have a master system that can stream any audio to all those different devices, uh, whatever you want to send to it, as well as how to uh, stream specific audio on each device. So to do this, what we're gonna be looking at today is how to use a Spotify account. So that's what we will be using. Um, I'll be showing you with using my Spotify account, um, how to set that all up. So basically what you can do with this, we're going to be using a app called Mopity. Okay. It's kind of a fun, fun thing to say, but it's called Mopity. Um, what it does is you can use it on a Raspberry Pi and it basically turns your Raspberry Pi into a streaming server. Um, it also has an app uh, that you can download. I've got it downloaded from the Google Play Store. Uh, I think it's for iOS as well. Um, it's a Mopity app and it finds all your Mopity servers and uh, puts that all together to where you can uh, use it together. So basically you have a Mopity server. Mopity will, will act as a server or as a client in a sense. Basically it is, it is our connection to Spotify. We're going to be using Spotify. Uh, so Mopity has a extension that will pull Spotify information into it. And then it will actually stream your playlists, your radios, anything like that, that you have uh, saved in Spotify. It will send also, what we'll be doing is on each individual device, we'll be installing Mopity on each individual individual device as well as a server device. So that way you can go to each individual device and play your own station. So let's say maybe, you know, someone in one room wants to listen to country and someone in another room wants to listen to pop and someone in another room wants to listen to uh rock you can do all of that through the app and through the interface that we're going to show uh and you can link all that together and make them play individual things or you can go to the server and push audio uh for like the whole entire thing so if you want like the same music throughout your whole house you can do that as well we'll be using uh snapcast which is another uh open source software which is actually kind of cool to do the casting so that we can uh, set up a server that will then cast a simultaneous feed to all of the other end devices. So we'll be using Snapcast as well. Also, we will be checking out a good old home assistant. That is what we're gonna be integrating this into. Now, disclaimer, those of you that have Home Assistant I.O., I have not found a way to get this to work with Home Assistant I.O. because there is very limited uh, extensions for that because with home assistant io it's built on docker and you actually have to build an extension to be able to install Mopity. so we're going to be using the home assistant that installs via raspbian i'll put some links down below to let you guys know how to do that um, there's also some videos i can put a video somewhere when i did that for our end devices our little devices that are going to be uh playing the music we're going to be using Raspberry Pi Zero W's. I do want to use the W because the W uh, is the one that has the wireless internet uh, on it. Let's go ahead and get started. So I have basically powered up. Um, I've got two Raspberry Pi Zeros that we're going to be uh, looking at today, as well as I used a Raspberry Pi uh, 4B+, plus. I think is what I've got. It was just one that I had to run the Home Assistant instance on, okay? Um, I'm not going to be building it live because honestly, this would take forever. I'm gonna try as much as I can to keep this video under 20 minutes. Now, if you want in-depth videos, let me know down in the comments. So without any further ado, what we got here is I've got one of the Raspberry Pi Zeros, all right? So all I did was just install Raspbian onto a Raspberry Pi Zero. Um, I set my config to be uh, CLI mode. So let's do that real quick. So sudo raspi config. 
Now, right now I am SSH'd into the Raspberry Pi Zero, so I did all the setup of the of the the wireless uh, network and all that stuff. If you want uh, information on how to do that, there's tons of videos out there. I'm not going to go through that here, um, but basically set it up, get it on the internet, and, or get it on your network, uh, your wireless network, and you should be good to go. All right, so what I did here is I went down to uh, the advanced options. First thing we need to do is set the audio to force uh, three and a half millimeter jack. Now I know what you're thinking. There is no uh, audio jack on the Raspberry Pi W. Well, I got a trick for that. Yes, there is a way to output the audio. And then, oh, oh, the CLI. Uh, yeah, uh, I think it is boot options. There we go. So you can change it to uh, whatever you want it to do, desktop CLI. And what I did was I chose that and go down to uh, auto login. Yeah. So basically, whenever your Pi boots, it just automatically boots to uh, the normal uh, Raspberry Pi displays. So once you do that, you can finish, uh, like I said, reboot it, <clears throat> and you should be uh, good to go for that kind of setup. The first thing that I would probably do is we'll download from Snapcast. There'll be a link to your Snapcast uh, downloads. Down here at the bottom, you're going to want the ARM HF versions is what you're going to need. You're going to need both the Snap Client and you're also going to need the Snap Server. So that way we can do the uh, server level, send send it to everywhere and simultaneously do everything. Or uh, the client one where you can, uh, where they can subscribe to the server and pull that information down. So anyway, download both of those. Then what I did was I used good old WinSCP. So what I did was I come in here and then I just put that on there. For the Raspberry Pi Zeros, we will be using the client software because these are the ones that will subscribe to the server. So you want the you want the client software on these. So once you get that client on there, you should see it in your listing. We're going to install it by uh, running the uh, packaging command, which is our sudo dpkg-i and then the name of that client uh, dot dev. And that will install your client, okay? We will configure it later, so that gets that installed. Now, moving on, we wanna install Mopity, okay? So, to install Mopity, what you're gonna do is you're gonna use, and like I said, I'll, I'll provide links in the description, and this comes straight from uh, their website uh, telling you how to install it. That's where I'm getting this, so links down in the description. Um, once you uh, get that, that gets the key for it, then you will need to uh, add the uh, right repo uh, in your list. So to add the repo, you're gonna be running this command, which adds the uh, repository to your app get, so that way uh, it'll be able to download it. Once you have done all of that, now as simple as doing a sudo apt update, update your repository, and then you will just do the apt install uh, Mopity, okay? And that's it, and that will install Mopity. Now, we need some components. We need some uh, extensions to make all of it work properly. In order to look at all the extensions, you can do an apt uh, search Mopity, and I'll show you the output of that. And basically what it'll do is it'll show you all the extensions available for uh, Mopity. So <clears throat> if there's something on here that you wanna use more, like maybe you wanna use uh, Google's uh, music service, or you wanna use a different music service than, than what I'm doing, SoundCloud or something like that. See, they're all here. Here's TuneIn, Spotify, SoundCloud. Anyway, that's all the, the cool stuff that it has for add-ins. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna install some of those. So to install them, it's simple enough. You just do uh, sudo apt install and then the name of it. So we're gonna do the Mopity MPD. That is the uh, MPDs are uh, music player daemons. Uh, that is basically if you wanna control uh, play, pause, uh, fast forward, um, go back, you know, all the different controls, volume level and things like that. You need a media player daemon to be running that will receive those commands. And those commands are important because that's what we're going to use uh, through Home Assistant to be able to control all this. So we need to install the MPD. So you'll install that one. The next one that you need to install is the Mopity Spotify, if you're going to be doing Spotify like me. So you're going to do Mopity Spotify that installs that extension. So that way it will have the ability to log into your Spotify account and pull that information down. 
<clears throat> then we're going to need, or at least we're going to go ahead and install the mobile app. So that way you can control this thing uh, either through Home Assistant or you can go and control it through your phone. You can control it through a cell phone. So we might as well install that too. That one's a little different. That one uses Python scripting. So we're going to do a sudo python3 m pip install moppity mobile. And that's all you need to do. And it'll install the mobile uh, uh, extension. Once that is done, then I got one more thing we have to install, and that is the Mopify, uh, which is, I love the way they say it, but it's basically a music player uh, extension because you, you have all the stuff to connect everything. Now you got to have something that will actually play the music. So we're to install Mopify, which is a Spotify-like uh, device. So bef what we're, when we install it, we're going to do a sudo pip3. Install Moppity Moppify, okay? Moppify. And that will install the Moppify uh, device. Now, once we have that all set up, we're going to now move on to setting up the Moppity config. So in order to do that, we're going to CD to the Etsy directory and then Moppity, okay? So now we're going to check out the config file. So we're going to, whoop, we have to do a sudo vim and then Moppity config. Okay. So now inside of this config file, um, I will have a sample uh, config file out on uh, my GitHub. So if you guys want to uh, download that and use that as a starting point, that's fine. So um, what I have on this one now, remember, this is on the uh, client side. So this is on the thing that uh, is going to be accepting a stream from the server or streaming on its own, okay? And that's very important for this uh, setting. So right here, we have the audio setting. This is basically, where do you want it to, where do you want the Moppity to send the audio? Well, for us, we want to send it to a ALSA Sync, which is your normal ALSA, uh, you know, sound hardware, essentially, that's on the local onboard uh, device. Okay. So that basically sends it to, in, in a nutshell, to the three and a half millimeter port, since we named it that way. So AS, ALSA Sync is the onboard uh, audio output. Okay. <clears throat> so that's what that's going to do. Now, when we get on the server side, that's going to change. We're going to redirect it to Snapcast. So that way it will cast it instead of just playing it on the local three and a half millimeter port. It'll actually cast it out. You do want the HTTP uh, to be enabled because this is the home page, basically. Uh, so you can uh, set up the web link. Here's the Spotify config. Okay. So you need your username, your password. Yeah, I know your password's in a text file. It's kind of makes my skin crawl too, but you put your username and your password in for your Spotify account. Then you also need this client ID and client secret. Now to get that again, link down to the description, you're going to go to an authenticate page. Let me bring that up for you guys. So on this authenticate page, uh, the link down below, or you can look at this, the link up here in the URL, um, you're going to say authenticate Moppity with Spotify. When you click on this, it's going to go to like a Spotify uh, link site and you're going to type in your information. Whatever shows up here, you will cut it and then you will uh, paste it into here. So client ID and secret, as you can see client ID and secret. So that's literally all you have to do. Next, you need to set up your MPD, which is that media player daemon. That's what that stands for. Um, you're just going to do host name. The double quotes just means the, the host name of it. And then that's going to listen on port 6600. Now we're also going to enable our Mopify, which is our, our media player. So Mopify enabled is true and debug is equal to false. And that's pretty much it. Then you just right quit that file, you know, save that file, however you want to do it. And we're ready to start uh, Moppity. So you can run it by itself, but a better way is to go ahead it, and it's, it's run as a service. Okay. Or at least the way we set it up, when you set up the config file inside of the, uh, Etsy directory, that's setting it up as a service. You're not running it standalone. To start it on boot, you're going to do a sudo dpkg and you're, uh, you're going to do, uh, reconfigure Moppity. And when you do that, it's going to ask you if you want to uh, enable it to start on boot. If you want to check the status of it, normal, normal service. So sudo service moppity status. And there is the current status of it. It is active and it is running. If I go to the IP address 
of this device and I do 6680, I should get this web page. If all goes well, if Mopity is up and running, I should get this web page. Now, to test it, we can go down here to Mopify. And this should be blank when you first start. Where you will need to go is over here under account to services. And then here's the Spotify account. And this will be just a double arrow. You just click this. And you should see down here in this area, you should see if it connects or not. And it should go ahead and connect up. If you got your client ID, your secret, your username and password all set up properly, then when you click connect on this, you should see it connect. And then you can go back to uh, browse or whatever. And you should start seeing all kinds of music uh, stuff, of it, basically Spotify. Let's go ahead and finish the software and then we'll get into the hardware of how to actually make this thing uh, run and how to make it actually like play music. Because right now it won't play music just yet. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and we'll configure the Snapcast server. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to CD to Etsy default. Okay. And then inside there, sudo vim, there should be a file uh, called uh, snap client okay you open that up and it's going to give you the snap client options okay so what you're going to do is you're going to do a dash dash host and then you're going to put the ip address of the server of what is going to be sending <clears throat> music to it which in my case it's my dot 30 server that i have here in my little test lab all right so now the next thing we need to do is we need to tell that to start at boot and so in order to do that we're going to do a sudo update dash rc dot d snap client defaults and when you hit enter on this it should uh work it works <laughs> it is active it is running and it is connected to the server what's up guys i hope you've been enjoying the video so far sorry it is taking way too long um, i'm going to split it now into a, another video so definitely look for part two on this i just didn't want to run it past 20 minutes so uh check out part two that will be coming next week but make sure and check out maker monday definitely check out the t-shirts hit a like subscribe and share make sure you ring the door the doorbell make sure you ring that bell though the little doorbell uh, so that way you don't miss out on the update for the next uh, version of this. Stay tuned because we'll finish this up and we'll do the hardware and whatnot and uh, we'll take care of it and put it all together and you'll get to see it work. Thanks again for all the support. I'll see you next time.